Right, so the 9722 right hand sink. This is your sink here, cooker area here, hob. These are for the two centre hinges, the other hinge on the right hand side for the sink. And then this is a wider cutout here, which is for um, the gas connections for the, for the hob. So, firstly, this inside edge is the one that you cut to. So you cut that out. And then the other outside edge, edge that's uh, dimensions for that, that's what you root out the router um, nine millimeters. It's quite simple if you, uh, if you know, but it's not exactly explained very well. So I went ahead and just measured all the dimensions underneath. I'm using a scrap piece of ply. Ignored the temp well template, whatever this is supposed to be, the illustration. I completely ignored that. And just used measurements and done it myself. So I made a rough template out, cut it all out. Um, you can see nine mil. Rather than cutting one big section out for the gas, I just cut out what needed to be cut out. Easy when you know how, eh? So I cut that out, made a template, and let's see me cut out the worktop. Right, so we've got the worktop in. Um, you see the cutout for the sink and the cooker. So just for good measure, we're gonna see if it fits properly. So we've got a good fit there. Then uh, take it back out again in a second. I'll fit this little rubber trim all the way around the edge in. It goes all the way around. And then we got uh, the plug and the drainage for the sink. It'll be on this side. Then we got the tap. The, uh, Got the comic tap that goes there. And then I'm going to put the gas fittings on and then we'll run that down to the gas bottle, which I don't know if you can see, but it's down here. I'll give you a detail for the van at some point when it's all done. Alright, so let's get fitting it. So I'm hoping I've done this right. Put the little grommet in first. If I haven't, I'm sure someone uh, in the comment section will let me go. No, let me go. Good, not going anywhere, mate. Not till this van's done. Right, so I'm presuming this goes in first. Like that. And then you've got the base underneath. And that'll fit all 
go in through like that, I presume. Let's take that out. Little screw there. Don't want to over tighten it, so hopefully that's okay. Let's get the tap fitted. Again, I'm no kitchen fitter, so I have no idea if I'm doing this right. There's a little rubber seal just on there, so I'm presuming. Just go straight through like that. So we're a bit about there then, I guess. Uh, I'm kind of regretting getting the comet. Maybe the um, Dometic AC, I think it's the 539, would have been a better option. Oh well, we can always swap it out at a later date. That's it. All done. Well, just the gas fitting to fit. Oh, I should have done that before I um, put that in. Hey ho. Well, we'll fit the gas fitting now anyway. Right, so I've got my, my uh, compression piece in. Let's get it fitted quickly. This installation off, get, get it all screwed down and secured. It's a bit of a nightmare with that tap on there. Never mind, I'm sure we'll manage. Uh, this is going to be fun because the uh, that rubber seal keeps don't want to stay on very well. And it's come off in many places.
I've only got flexible pipe, it's already uh, screwed on. More than enough, quarter to half a turn. That should be ample. We'll just tighten them two bits up. There we go. That should be fine. Obviously, you get a sniffer on there, which uh, smells as if there's any gas leaking. Um, but we'll test that out at a later stage. And if you decide to do this, I will not be held responsible. You are doing it on your own actions. You should get a qualified engineer to do this. A gas engineer. I, um, my trade is a pipe fitter. And we used to do these on chips all the time. So. And the hose shouldn't uh, be in excess of one and a half meters. Gas is all connected. Um, I've got to fix. That was a bit dodgy. I'm going to secure this down now. And uh, just got to um, cut this gas pipe down to the bank. <coughs> I just wanted to see. And just test it quickly. This is the electronic ignition, but I haven't wired any of that up yet. So. Maybe the gas can't help, but it's not lighting. There we go. That's just got a low setting. Setting there. Lovely. Will they work well? Just shut the gas off. Right, now let's um, secure it. 
secure it down. Here's the uh, fixings that you get that comes with it. Just some screws. So how you fix it? You get these little cups. And a little screw. And the screw goes in like so. And then that will be screwed into there. And then we got these little rubber caps that go over the top. Let's do this. 